All right, welcome everybody. My name is Michael, and today we are at Lake Geneva. Look at those views. It's too bad. Autumn is my favorite time of the season, but it's too bad that it gets so dark so quickly. Almost uh, 7 p.m. now. Started getting dark at 6. This is actually brighter than it really is in real life, but looks awesome. All right, today we're talking about 12,000 plus, 12,100 plus coins that are zombie in limbo state, and they're trading but mainly dormant, as in either no trading whatsoever or maybe one or two people are trading, keeping them alive, or smaller scam communities where people are still clinging on to the hope that their bags of coins that are now worthless will one day go up. And whether that's a large product, a project such as Luna or Mooncoin, or you have these smaller projects that are on the 122nd page of Coin Market Cap, now there are over 21 and a half thousand coins that are registered on there. Of that, there's also 64 and a half thousand that were purportedly created. It is very easy to create a crypto token. Of those, maybe 12 and a half thousand. 15,000 realistically will be gone by the end of this year. So we're steadfast approaching Christmas. Now we're getting into the 80 day countdown. Very awesome. So when we look back at the past couple of years in 2017, based on the standards of judging a zombie project, one where there is no or very little activity and no hope essentially where it will become a dead project. There were four zombie projects in 2017. That number grew in 2018 after obviously the crypto winter that wiped out a lot of projects. 136 were classified as zombie projects. And then after 2018 ended, of course, the fallout still went into 2019, of which now you started seeing 766 projects. The next year, 2020, it was 1,500 plus. The next year, over 3,700. And now we're over 12,100, where it is safe to assume that probably by the end of next year, we're gonna be past 20 to 30,000 projects because it's growing so fast. Now, part of that is, of course, it's so easy to make a project. Anybody can make a ICO or, or well, those were popular back in 2017, 2018, and 19. Uh, now it's very popular to make a DeFi project or a meme token or something related to NFTs. There were so many meme tokens and copy clones that a lot of them failed. And a lot of them were either money grabs or before they even got investors, they failed for whatever reason. The project developer stopped. And with the bear market, with a lot of inflation recently, with the world generally going bearish, Dow Jones, everything around us, it is definitely difficult for even a successful project to stay alive. So if a developer and their team run out of funding and resources and belief, then investors will go into the next project, and that project essentially will become a zombie project. You might have the team and a couple members who believe in it trying to hold it up, but eventually the line gets blurred between a dead project and a zombie project, something that's still supposed to be alive. You still see activity, but it's so little that eventually it doesn't make sense. And with the amount, the sheer amount of meme projects that were out there, um, you might have one person that might be silly or loves to burn their money uh, continuously pumping up these coins and all you need is really a couple hundred dollars to keep a project still alive necessarily for the next year. Now with that, realistically there's probably at least a good hundred to two hundred good projects out there or projects that will turn into good projects eventually. Maybe five hundred that are decent maybe all the way up to a thousand as we keep getting more and more of these projects and the rest are honestly junk. Um, probably a good 50 to 80 percent are complete trash, either scams, either dead projects, um, something that just was built in a day for a meme that had no community behind it whatsoever. And then there's a decent amount of money grabs in there of that. You're going to have a couple projects here and there that will actually change the world and will be revolutionary and might actually help become the next Bitcoin, the next Ethereum, whatever it might be. With that said, 
we're seeing crypto more and more around us and the other day I was eating a fortune cookie take a look at this and this is a fortune cookie mind you in our food we have advertisement now look at that I open it up and there's FTX DeFi DeFi reality yeah that was crazy and I asked one of my coworkers. he's like yeah I've seen that before at a different Chinese restaurant that's that's insane man so with that said hopefully you guys enjoy beautiful views of Geneva now it is uh, pretty dark outside and that was in a matter of five well, actually 10 15 minutes of recording so anyways thanks for watching have a great rest of your day take care stay safe and uh pretty soon we're gonna have an update for the channel so thanks for staying along on the journey <laughs> yeah, relaxing a little bit on sunday and back to work tomorrow all right bye